Our purpose is, you know, create positive impact and realize our potential and do something good with our time on this planet, hopefully. Within EO, we have this mission of to, to engage leading entrepreneurs to learn and grow. We have now two and a half days, a full-packed agenda with international speakers. They will share their experiences, their knowledge as well, and we will give the members the opportunity to exchange on these specific topics. Things are going to happen. They are what they are. Those are opportunities to grow, but it's a choice how you show up every single day. You know, there's a saying out there that 10% of life is what happens to us. And 90% is how we choose to react to it. It's, it's so easy to keep making excuses. And this feeling of when I'm ready, I think it's really deep in your heart, you, already, you know it. So you just need to feel that and be honest to yourself. Um, to say whether it's like real concern or whether it's just an excuse to not do it for whatever reason. If you do what you want to do, then it's much easier because you have a lot of spiritual energy uh, you, can, you can put to it. It only works like, I am, that's because I do certain things, that's why I have something. You have something installed in you that feels right. You're not going to get it right away. This is a practice you learn, like shooting basketballs or, or math. And I see more misery around uh, people remaining in situations that are not or fulfilled. We make mistakes. Uh, as long as we improve on those and continue to try to be our best. When you go on this entrepreneurial journey, sometimes you think like, why the hell did I do this? Yeah. And then you ask yourself, and what you just said just hit me because, well, it's me who put myself <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why am I here? Well, that's pretty much my own fault. Into this position. We talked about this earlier. You said, you know, entrepreneurship, it's really, you learn through, through doing, through experimenting. You, you try something and you fail and you try again and you fail again. And you, keep, you keep doing and you keep experimenting around until you find the thing. Life gives you challenges and they are part of life as well. Sometimes we have to face dark moments um, and, um, and then we, we, we are able to, to learn a lot from them and uh, I think it makes you grow. Yeah. But hey, fuck fear. That's what I say. And just go straight like an arrow to make people happy, strong and healthy and go within the control of their beautiful mind. When I look at something like stress or suffering, I look at it from the standpoint of like, what could this be good for, right? This isn't a recent evolution. People have been feeling these ways for thousands of years. I think that's the challenge that I would put out there to everybody is to think about when the last time you intentionally became uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you isolated one of your fears and then attacked it? For example, when 
I joined EO, I didn't get it. I wanted to leave after about six months. And then I thought maybe I'm misusing the concept, the idea, the platform. So my idea was that for the next two years, I'll put everything I have in it. I'll say yes to everything, I'll take all the positions, whatever they want. And at the beginning, there was a lot of money in terms of how much do you pay. It's been three and a half years. I've met um, about three or four hundred different people. My business is totally different. The way I do stuff is different. Um, I can talk and meet anyone on the planet as long as I want. I usually wouldn't have participated in a session like that had it not been for this uh, this conference. Um, <clears throat> I think it's 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 funny when you walk in there and then you, you you take part, skeptic. Um, and then you walk out with a thousand questions and because there is something there. Since I joined uh, EO, what is it, three, three and a half years ago, I grew not only my company but also myself. And these events are for me inspiration and getting out of my comfort zone and being inspired. And I take a lot of well, value back. Yeah.